Okay. The Tomix Kanatani. Good morning. It is just past 7:30 in the AM, and I'm out of the house and on the road. On Thursday morning, the 13th of February, 2020, in the tail end, well, just more than the last quarter of the moon, got though our fourth of seven winter lunar cycles, and I am off to feed beavers, however, just got a call through the rattlesnake hotline letting me know that the trap set at the Christian school yesterday afternoon has caught a skunk, so I guess I'll swing by there and get the skunk, then head to the river bottom. We'll just go see whether they've left that little narrow corridor unlocked for me or not. This was the one that I baited with. <laughs> I cracked open uh, probably half of what was left of that, that egg that cracked in my pocket on top of a uh, potato chip bag. Oh yeah, they've left it unlocked for me. And do I got a skunk in there? I guess I do. It's dark in there. Dark in there. No reason for alarm. <laughs> hey there, skunky. This is a very tight space for both of us. audience through the window. Little bit of spray, but oh, not, too, not too bad. Oh. Skunk is extracted. Tight space, stink animal. Yeah, I washed my clothes last night after having got egged, and uh, I washed all my all my like regular outfit here, my coat, my ski pants. <coughs> Figuring I'd get some of the skunk smell off too. It's good that uh, got it back on. Oh yeah, you betcha.
your neck injury. There we are. See that? Eesh. What happened, bud? Don't spray me. You're free to go. You're free to go. I think you'll heal up okay, but it just looks nasty. Maybe it's some kind of mange. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. He might still be under my car. I'm gonna head down the trail here. Go see if I can feed me some beavers. On frozen canal. Kind of a tight minute for me down here. I don't have a lot of time to work with. I had uh, allowed myself to sleep in an extra half hour this morning because Chelsea's home and she can run the kids to school and so I didn't have that kid prep time to worry about so slept in a half hour and uh, turns out I jumped up at the right time because I hadn't driven you know two blocks when I got the call from the Christian school bought their skunk there and then that's really close to where I live so it made it fairly convenient, you know, cut off a little bit of my time that I had for the beavers, but not too much. Oh, we got some sun dogs out there. You probably can't see them, but they're rainbows. It means it's cold. <laughs> and it is cold. Minus 11 right now, something like that. Um, anyhow. I thought that's no not that's no problem. I'll, I'll pick up the skunk and then I'll drive in here. The snow is not that deep, not that bad. I'll drive in, but turns out the lock at the gate up there is uh, it's, I don't know jammed with ice or something. I couldn't get my key in there, and I noticed that somebody else had driven up either either uh, yesterday or today and hadn't been able to get past the gate. So probably their key didn't work. Um, so that required me to hike in, taking off a lot of my potential time. In fact, I don't, I'm not even going to look at my, um, phone clock here for a second because I'm afraid what I'll see and I won't be able to stay here and feed the beavers. I'm just going to feed them quick. I'm sure they've eaten what I gave them. Yeah, you can see they've been clipped off. I'm sure they're all like that at this point. So even getting to shove these last bits in there is something. Then I'll try to grab one or two more small trees from the old food cache.
good enough with those ones. Well, I guess that's about it for today. Four trees stuffed as tight as I can into that hole. <laughs> um, that should last them a few days. I better get the heck out of here. Alright, I'm out. Off to the west side for a skunk. For a skunk? Skunk number two in the morning. I've already I've already moved a skunk, fed the beavers. Busy, busy, <laughs> you fix out a skunk, my regards. We'll do. You can see my drumstick, it's awesome. Is it? Yeah. I'll see it later. Figured while I'm on the west side and in the area, I might as well check this one. The trap we had, I think yesterday we had a skunk in here, yeah. Nobody this morning, it's good. So we can drop this one off and move off the west side. I probably will swing by the jasmine room, the tea house, um, because we've had so many consecutive calls from there. So I'll go over, whoop up, stop there, see what's shaking, and maybe go take Polly for his walk.
There you go. Off into the countryside. <laughs> or into the culvert. That would be nice. All right, we'll go check the jasmine room quick. All right, that one's still good to go. Looks like they put paper in there, but might have been taken in. So there might still be yet an eighth skunk to catch. Okay, let's go take Poli for a walk. <laughs> I find it a challenge to keep up with Poli's just his walking pace, no less his running pace. <laughs> a little bit of cardio just to keep up the walk with him. I challenge myself to do it in sections but then I burn out a little bit and I just let him kind of pull on the end of that line but he wants to go faster. Whew. It's warming up. I think I can get out of my deep weather clothes. I'll check the temperature here once we stop at the garbage can to toss the products of the walk. Whew. I've not checked again on the backyard skunk. Probably won't until we get a fresh snow. That'll tell me things. Whoa. Yeah, my trash is full full because the city two weeks ago on the trash day did not take it. I don't know why. Truck stopped there. Didn't take it and drove off. <laughs> so we've got an abundance. All right, big boy. Let's go inside. Yeah, I did, and then I changed clothes. <laughs> is there still a box? There is. There is still a box. I was thinking to put it in, yeah, I was thinking to put all the oh, dirt. Well, I could do that too. Yeah, I'm walking back there. I might as well, and then take take that box and fill it. Just dump it in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'll fill this with the clay. Or I'll, I'll get a bunch of clay anyway. Okay. Cool. So your back is open. Yeah. Okay. Hey! <laughs> I forgot about my hat. <laughs> it's too windy for your hat. It's very windy. So it's getting on toward 2 o'clock in the afternoon now, 1400 hours, and I am on my way to the Tudor Estates subdivision to set up a, another skunk trap and then I brought that cardboard box from the studio along with Mary's shovel from the back of her truck to
to gather some badger clay on the way back. Uh, I know on Bridge Drive, a badger hole that I've gathered a lot of clay for for my smudge boxes and such. And I know that stuff will do really good, uh, much like sand would do, even better than sand probably, to help us shape the rattles that we're going to be making starting, I'm guessing, tomorrow. Although I, there's a few people that already have rattle bits cut out that are, that are soaking. We'll actually start getting to work on them probably tomorrow. Today's was mostly about the sticks, getting the sticks ready. In any case, yeah, we need dirt, and I've got a trap to set, so heading to Tudor Estates. So apparently there's two sites of concern here. The one being under the front step, which is definitely active, and the residents are smelling it. And then there's one by a back shed. So let's go see about, see about that. Lots of tracks in the snow, I'm just noticing, showing you. Um, leading to and from this shed, and another active burrow there, most surely, right? So, and these are, there's rabbit tracks in there, but these are definitely skunk as well and shooting out there to go explore out along scenic all right so let's set up a trap let's start at the front because obviously the front is where the uh, the residents have the most concern <laughs> And we'll clear out that, we'll clear out the front, and then start poking around with trap in the back. Probably we're gonna get the same pool of animals anyway, you know? I'm betting, I'm betting there's not, I mean, I, although there's most sure, surely more than two skunks here, uh, or more than one skunk here, I would think, um, given how much activity is out there in the snow probably don't like I don't know uh, if they're keeping separate territories I guess oh, I'm about to sneeze that's what's distracting me anyway let's get a I'm gonna get a trap set up here and we'll go get some soil just up here on the coulee slope of bridge drive where I'm preparing to gather some of this badger dug soil. This is a place that I've come to get badger soil for various purposes for the last couple of years. And this was a badger who I tried to trap while she was in the Heritage Heights neighborhood last year, uh, but I wasn't successful. She came back out here. If you were watching the channel last winter, you remember she, she got a part of a roadkill deer out here and and buried it in the in the earth here and stuck around for maybe a week or so and then departed again I hadn't seen the whole occupied ever since however today she's definitely in there and the way I can tell is because this hole is backfilled this hole is backfilled so it does have an occupant it's probably the same badger because this is you know her hole and her territory. I'm saying her, I'm just guessing, but um, badgers are generally considered female in Blackfoot. <laughs> that would be the assumption. Uh, they're female, female gendered for whatever they're associated with the Nautoas. Any case, this is what we're going to use to make some of our rattles with. So I'm going to, whoa, 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 almost took a dive. I'm going to set up the camera here and uh, on this fairly steep slope and Probably make a little offering and dig some, dig some badger dirt.
couldn't help myself. <laughs> Not staying. Not spending too much time here, but hadn't visited today, hadn't touched base, and was on Bridge Drive. You know, how could I not stop in? Just at least, at least acknowledge the place. <laughs> so, back to the studio we go. I'm gonna take this. Sure. Because you can't put it up. Okay. That's it. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna cut out my thing too. Uh, yeah. This one is a small one. For your rattle? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna cut a small one. And I'm gonna already um put it in the water. Uh, and then I already make one. Get out get out on Awanan. Awanan. So got it's yes. the progress on the drumstick. Got some good work to do. I think hey, thank Brian. This is I might awesome cover day. this. Ah, really awesome. the drums. Everything. Yeah, right Everything. on. I feel like that too. Yeah. Even though we're coming to the end, I feel like uh, well, it's been well, good. Me, I'm just yeah. kind of like everybody else, hey? Eh? Mm. We got to keep in contact and meet someplace. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to show you one more thing before I left the office here. I planted a bunch of starts uh, maybe Monday or Tuesday. Not that long ago, just a few days ago. They're supposed to take seven to ten days to, to get going. These are these three are broccoli, these three are tomatoes. Broccoli definitely got a couple of shoots coming up. And I was really careful. I just put one seed per per uh, peat thing so I could just be really efficient with my use of seeds and peat and such. But I can see there's tomatoes getting ready to pop up by tomorrow morning, I bet. I'll have tomato, tomatoes as well coming up. I got another one of these flats at home. I haven't um, started working yet. Another variety of tomato and um, I think I might have bought some kale or something. Don't necessarily need to early start the kale. Well, it doesn't hurt. So, yeah, getting it's time to get garden stuff started, and uh, I want to have a lot of gardening happening this this week. So, I got a phone call with some interesting news. I'm going to uh, cover it later in the video. I think when I get home with Chelsea, we'll have a discussion, but. It's, it's hot news, and uh, maybe you guys can help us make a decision about it when I tell you what it is. But right now, I think we're going to swing down. we got maybe an hour or two left of daylight. We're going to go to the Wilderness Park. Last sliver of the sun is just passing behind the Cooley Rim. And it will soon be time for the Ops Bini to return. In fact, they're already returning to the river here. In pretty good numbers. But I would expect many thousands to be arriving shortly. I should maybe conceal myself a little bit so that they're not bothered by me while I'm here. It's been, what, probably over a week since I really visited down here. I mean, I might have dropped off a skunk or something, but it's been a while. I still don't feel like I'm in the flow with this place yet at all. I did get some feedback from Blackfoot speakers regarding the naming of this place. One of the elders suggested using the word um, which would be 
which would be like the fast moving current. And for sure, you know, here as the water rises above, over the rocks and stuff, creating these rapids, it does move pretty fast. So we could use that. Um, another elder suggested and I apologize for that wind by the way I don't have a, a moose stash for this camera yet like it's it's boiling up you know I need to learn to pronounce that better in any case. <laughs> and then there was another word I was looking up that, that wasn't suggested to me, but I just was thinking about it here on this side of the, of the uh, rapids. There's a bit of a, there's a bit of a whirlpool action going on here that I've noticed, you know, several visits. Like that's why you get these ice pieces stuck in here because they're just moving around you know moving around it's a whirlpool and there's a word for whirlpools and I can't remember it off the top of my head but if I look at my phone for a second <laughs> I can pull it up on my phone the dictionary that I've made for myself um, gotta look in the English side under W and whoop get bigger because I'm old and I can't read small now anymore <laughs> and whirlpool awatakoi 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 that's describing the you know the 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 liquid the, the water moving around awatakoi so it could be any of those things. Like, hey, I haven't decided on the name yet. Um, I kind of like Awatakui, and I kind of like Iksukui and I wish I could say more easily um, <laughs> um, Awakuxi. Maybe there we go. They all make sense, so I'm not sure what to go with yet, but we're getting there. trees that the beavers knocked down here create pretty good natural blinds close to the edge of the river. Here they come. I'd like to record some of the inversion landings if I could where they're doing uh, stunts as they come in. See if any more land right here by the edge of this island. Almost getting it, almost getting it. Oh, where did my birds go?
like just when they come over this tree line into my view they do an inversion but it's hard to catch them because my camera doesn't want to focus that quickly and it definitely seems to be that they do the inversion in order to drop in elevation rapidly wait and see for the next group these guys are coming in above me pretty nice but I don't think they're gonna be inverted lots of them are landing around me Ah, these guys might do something here. Oh yes, a lot of them are, are falling there, doing inversions. Or at least going part way over. Some of them are going probably full. See that, how they drop their body? Some of them go completely upside down. That's what I'm trying to capture here. There is one. Ooh. Here. Sounds like a big group is coming. It's them landing down that way. Well, I probably got some pretty decent inversions, or at least fully half inversions. Tape. My fingers are getting pretty cold, didn't wear gloves, so I think I'm going to get out. Just home and starting to settle in, chill out, relax. I've got a few pages to catch up on the beaver book and need to get something in my stomach. Maybe I might have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or something. Chelsea and the kids are off visiting at a friend's place. And I'm probably going to just end the video here, I think, and save the discussion with Chelsea for a separate video. Uh, on the topic that I need to talk to her about, but oh, maybe that's her now. Oh no, that's my dad. So, any case, this video is probably plenty lengthy enough, so we'll end it here. And if I get another opportunity tonight to record the discussion that I have with Chelsea Slater, then I'll do that, and that'll be separate. Okay, Giromatsinochboa. <laughs>